Isaiah chapter 14, verse 14. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. All right. <clears throat> Real quick. An update from RT News. Drone satellite hybrid could soon hover high within Earth at Earth's atmosphere. The European Space Agency has revealed plans to launch a new drone satellite hybrid project to make continuous observations of Earth. The stratospheric platforms will be able to stay in a fixed position for months on end, constantly watching the area below. The high altitude Swedo satellites will fly at an altitude similar to conventional aircraft, but operate more like satellites, according to a statement from the agency. The unmanned aircraft will not actually work from space, but will remain within Earth's atmosphere, monitoring the territory below. And what we have here is a picture, or an example rather, of uh, what Esau is developing so that he can... Uh, Mimic the Most High. You know, as it says in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3, the eyes of Yahweh are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. So Esau, he wants to have his eyes in every place to where he can observe all things, all activity that goes on on the planet Earth. Because Esau Edom has a uh, God complex. Okay? He, he believes he is the Most High. Continuing on, working from an ideal altitude of 12 miles, the HAPS will be able to survey the ground to the horizon 500 kilometers away. This will allow them to conduct precise monitoring and surveillance, high bandwidth communications, or act as a backup to existing satellite navigation services. HAPS will be considered for a variety of applications, such as telecommunications, maritime surveillance, environmental monitoring, land border control applications, and of course, emergency response situations. The concept is not new. According to Earth Observation Specialist Thorsten Fair, who said that thanks to developments in key technologies after 20 years is finally becoming a reality. These advances include miniaturized avionics, high performance solar cells, lightweight batteries and harness, miniaturized of Earth, Earth's observation sensors and high bandwidth communication links that can deliver competitively priced services. He said, well, that's just a quote. HAPS could take the form of airplanes, airships, or balloons. A feasibility study is currently ongoing until the end of January to identify sustainable applications and services of it. A number of HAPS development projects have recently reached more advanced development stages, suggesting that first operational services could be expected by the period 2018 through 2022 so here it is man we are here we are uh a month shy of going into uh the new year man okay 2018 is going about to be a hot year for prophecy you know the mark of the beast this rfid chip is going to be pushed uh and then they and then a um extreme rate and you can see here that he's uh putting uh surveillance technology in uh in the heavens now man so this devil is um about to come down with great wrath as the prophecy speaks but as it says let's grab it in the book of Obadiah, verse 4, Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, 
and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So, with Esau doing all, uh, all his work, all his wickedness, he's only uh, uh, draining that hourglass, man. This devil is on a, on a short lease, and his time is almost up. Uh, stay tight, Akiyam. Peace and salutations to the full elect. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.